MGF trench boxes are simple to assemble, robust, two-sided excavation support systems designed to be installed by an excavator using the dig and push or excavate and lower techniques. This animation will detail how to install our core range of steel trench boxes using a dig and push installation method. Box systems should not be used in very weak ground, especially very soft clays and peats, or where significant groundwater is present. Trench boxes are suitable for installing utility pipes where ground movement is not critical. They are supplied as base units propped off from each other with telescopic steel struts upon which up to a maximum of two top units can be installed to provide for depths of up to 7.1 meters. Before any work starts, the user must carry out a task specific risk assessment or method statement to produce a safe system of work. Throughout the assembly of MGF trench boxes, it is advised to implement an exclusion zone around the excavator, assembling and installing the box. Prior to assembling the box panels, all components should be inspected. It is advised to provide a clear level area for inspecting, assembling and disassembling trench box components. All components should be laid on the ground on timber skids. Panels should be laid so that the strut pockets are facing skyward. The telescopic struts should be built up to the correct length by sleeving the inner strut within the outer and securing using the supplied connecting pin and R clip. The strut should now be located within the pockets of the trench box by lifting vertically using a suitably rated shackle and a single leg chain and lowering into the strut pocket. Throughout this operation be mindful of all finger trap hazards. The strut is secured to the panel using a pin and R clip. The pin should be inserted from the outside of the panel. Once all struts are secured, the opposing panel should be lowered over the top of the struts and secured in place. This may require working at height. To flip the panel, simply chock in front and flip using a two-leg chain attached to the upper lift points. The panel can now be lifted using a four-leg chain and lowered in place. Care should be taken to ensure the strut pockets line up with the strut ends. Strut pins and R clips should now be installed. The assembled trench box should be stored so it is stable. This may change dependent on its width or panel type. If a top unit is required for additional depth, this can be assembled using the same method. All assembled units should be left in a suitable storage area until they are ready to be installed. Prior to excavating commencing, the ground should be scanned for services. Installation should commence by digging up to a maximum of 1 meter depth. The pre-assembled trench box base can now be installed by carefully lowering into the excavation using a four leg chain. Consideration must be given to the open ends of box systems. They can either be battered back or closed off using sheets or end safe panels. The excavator should now dig within the box, being mindful not to impact the panels or struts. Locate the spoil a suitable enough distance away to not impose a surcharge onto the excavation. The excavator should now push on the top corners of the trench box in a slow, steady motion. It is recommended to push on opposite corners to progressively push the box down in no more than 300mm increments. This sequence should be repeated until either the box is at formation level or if a top is required until there is roughly a 200mm upstand on the box. The top box can now be installed by simply lowering onto the base using a four leg chain. MGF trench box bases and tops are connected via a pin connection. The connectors on the top should sleeve over the corresponding connectors on the base before being secured with a connecting pin and R clip inserted from the outside. Access will be needed within the box for this connection. If a safe means of access cannot be provided, then the box can be accessed via a safe batter. Once all connecting pins are installed, the four leg chain can be removed. Installation can recommence until final depth is reached. Flying of the box above the base is not recommended. Safety equipment such as edge safe, ladder safe, end safe and davit safe can now be installed as per MGF guidance. If further box systems are required, then these can be installed now. Subject to a final inspection, the excavation is safe to enter.